First, uh, if you change the bottle, you need to adjust the baffle. There are screws on the baffle and uh, you can lose it first. After you fix suitable size for the bottle and you can uh, fix the screw so the bottle can move smoothly on the conveyor. And you can see there are two screws on both sides that you need to fix. And this is another side to fix the screw. And as for the baffle, because it's long, you need to adjust each side separately. And this is the right side. Also, it's the same as the left side. We just adjust the baffle according to the bottle and then fix the screws on the baffle. And this is very easy to adjust. Just use uh, one tool and then you can do it. The next stop step is to adjust the bottle holding device. You can pull it by hand to see if it's suitable or not. If the distance is to is not suitable, you just uh, lose the screw on the air cylinder and then adjust to a proper position then fix, fix the screw on the air cylinder and it's the same for the other side also loose first and then push it to a proper position and then fix it when you adjust this you need to turn off the air first otherwise uh, it cannot be pushed. This is uh, to adjust the height of the capping head by a hand wheel. You can see it's very easy and simple. We need to adjust the black wheel above the cap, above the cap. and uh, you can push two cylinders, adjust the screw according to different size of cap diameter. After you adjust it, you need to fix the screw. For the other side, it's also the same. And uh, after adjust, we turn on the power. And uh, you can see the sensor needed to detect a different bottle. Then connect the air. We press start. Put one sample to test. You can see it work successfully.